If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Drake had a whole ass plan with this. He planned this out. This is actually a trilogy. And I'm talking about her loss fitting in with CLB and honestly, never mind. A theory that's been around for quite some time, ever since her loss got announced and it dropped. But today we're gonna break down what Drake exactly said and how this all fits into the bigger picture. So let's some shade into this. So yesterday, 21 Savage and Drake sat down with Sirius XM to discuss her loss and the creation process behind it. Among other things, they also revealed that they helped write verses for each other, a thing that I went over in the latest video that I dropped. If you want to get into that, I really recommend you go watch that other video after this one because it's really interesting and kind of gets in also to their, you know, very familiar year and very family wise um, way that they help each other and way that they interact with each other which I thought was really wholesome so make sure to go watch the video after this one but today we're talking about something else because while they were on this interview Drake also started saying some interesting stuff and I don't want to hold y'all any longer let's look at what he said you know at a certain point in the interview towards the latter end of it he started to say we got CLB certified lover boy that was like the, you know, I'm trying my best to make her love me. I'm chasing you. And then honestly, never mind is the realization that maybe that lifestyle isn't for me. Then her loss is like no pigeons. Remember when they dropped no pigeons, when they had no scrubs out? So here he is directly giving us hints that all three of these albums are actually connected. I find it funny that he compares her loss to like no scrubs. That is definitely not the same vibe but I get what he's trying to get at and I think this definitely shines a different light on all of these projects It's a theory as I said that's been around for quite some time I mean especially back when CLB dropped and we had the nine pregnant emojis on the cover which we all thought was gonna be a joke but then he actually went through with it and we were like okay why are there pregnant emojis on there and then nine months later you know, honestly, never mind dropped. It was exactly nine months later. CLB dropped in September of uh, 2021, and then honestly, never mind dropped in June of 2022. That is a nine month difference. So, already there, it made sense, and that is what a lot of people pointed out. And then, when they announced this album that dropped that closely afterwards, I mean, within like almost only one year, we've gotten three Drake projects. We've never gotten that many. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking 2015, 2016, it wasn't that many. Okay, maybe, maybe it was. We had if you're reading this then would it time to be live and then views the next year but i think it was more than a year in that two t two year time span correct me if i'm wrong though. now if i'm being honest the more i'm thinking about this it's kind of like i don't really see the characteristics in there like on clb I don't see like the main theme of that being that soft boy and being like, you know, trying to make her like trying to chase a girl. I don't really get that vibe from the album. We still have stuff like, you know, what we, no friends in the industry, knife talk, stuff that goes really hard, stuff that is also a little bit more introspective, like the remorse or, you know, champagne poetry. So that it didn't really feel like an album that is like very simpy. But apparently he kind of, you know, used it as its image for it. And I get it, you know, it's called Certified Boy, uh, Certified Lover Boy. Um, so he, he's already pushing that, and people were already making jokes about it being like Drake is on a soft, you know, thing again. But uh, I didn't really, I didn't really catch that vibe. And I mean, the more I think about it, the same goes for Honestly Nevermind and her loss. I mean, Honestly Nevermind was like, you know, how do you get the get a feeling from that one that is like, uh, oh, maybe that lifestyle isn't for me. If if anything, I would say that Honestly Never, I Honestly Nevermind was more so I'm trying to chase you than CLB was. And uh, maybe apart from like Jimmy Cooks, obviously, but I would argue that those two could be switched way more easily. You know, it would it would have made more sense to put Honestly Nevermind at the beginning. Oh, I'm chasing you. I'm like singing and I'm being soft. And then CLB as the next one, kind of that in-between stage. And then her loss being the final one that is like, all right, her loss. And I mean, it also doesn't really add up for her loss. There are still, you know, passages in there where Drake is 
being a little a little soft but i get you know they, they did they can't just make conceptualized albums over the course of three projects i get that it's about the general theme obviously um but still you know i don't know if, if that was actually planned and i know that they recorded they also said that in the interview her loss over the summer so i'm not even sure if that was in the planning for the entire trilogy because you know when clb dropped obviously he had honestly never mind in mind no pun intended because he already put the pregnant emojis you know on the cover but i I'm not sure about her loss though, but what I think is funny is that when you put all the titles together, it obviously makes for a nice little storyline. You have Certified Lover Boy, honestly, never mind her loss. So I like that. I like that there's a little story and narrative behind it. He also said something concerning where Her Loss would rank in his discography. And he said, Her Loss is one of the greatest albums I ever made in my life. I said the other day, I think this is a clear entry into my top five of my catalog. If not top three and then 21 goes on to say yeah for me too um also it's really funny you should you should do like a little drinking game of how many times 21 said on god you know throughout that whole interview if you've you know heard it then that would be really funny but let's talk about this because her loss to me is not a top three drake project we have stuff like take care we have nothing was the same we have so far gone we even like if you're reading this even and all of those go above her loss. I would even go so far as to argue, and this is going to be a very hot take, but I'm not even that turned off by views. And that says, that says a lot if I put views over her loss. Her loss was great. I was actually really happy with the record. I was happy that Drake was able to at least somehow come back a little bit and prove that he's the Drake that can like rap again and do some hard stuff. I like that. I think that her loss was a, a really good move for for uh, for Drake and also for Twenty One, obviously, because he's profiting off of that way more than Drake is. But to call it a top three. I don't know about that, man. It's going to have to stand the test of time, obviously. Um, but I like that Drake feels that way. I think it. I think it's a good sign if he's still, you know, in his mind, putting out his best work at a, this late stage in his career. Now, obviously, we don't know how long his career is going to last. Right now, he's still riding really high. But the dude's like, what, 36 now? So he's like... He's not old, but like for a rapper in his career, that is actually pretty old, quote unquote. Um, so it's Drake's career is going to be very interesting to watch, also from like an age and how far he's going to take it perspective. If he can be another Kanye, they can push this to his mid 40s. We're gonna have to wait and see. So that's it from all the info we've gotten on, you know, this this interview that they did. Um, as I said, make sure to go watch that other video on the ghostwriting debate quote-unquote uh, I don't want to use that use that you know word very loosely um, and that is very interesting because it said a lot of interesting stuff in that video I really recommend you go watch that it's the you know latest video on my channel if you're watching this when it, when it comes out uh, so I really recommend it it's about the same interview I just had to put it into two videos because a lot of information and this one is about the trilogy did you expect this to be a trilogy you know were you aware of this did you already predict this back when the cover for CLB dropped or at least when honest never mind drop nine months later did it make sense to you i really want to know what y'all think about this because to me it was never really that clear only that he now said it i was like okay it makes sense sort of a lover boy honestly never mind her loss you know it makes sense it makes sense so all your thoughts on this anything you got on this please let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.